Hey guys, so last week WordPress released the 6.6 .6 core update and as I was poking around some of the changes, uh, I wanted to record a quick video to show you five of the updates that I think are pretty cool. All right, so what I've done here is I've spun up brand new Blink installs of WordPress 6.5.5 and WordPress 6.6. .6. So we can compare um, previous to the new features. So one of the first and probably in my opinion, the biggest change as far as the user interface goes, the UI um, is definitely going to be the side panel. So, so we take a look here at 6.5 um, is pretty much what we've gotten used to for quite a while. Uh, I can't remember the last update to this panel, but um, you know, we've got our basic summary here at the top with the author options. Then we have drop down uh, kind of accordions, right? For our featured images, for the discussion comments and page attributes. And now as we switch over to WordPress 6.6, we've introduced uh, a totally new condensed panel. And I have to say, I'm a really big fan of this. Um, it's a lot less clicking, a lot less navigating. Um, it's gonna take a little bit getting used to, but I really love how just right here at the top, set featured image. Um, you can publish your post, change it, uh, the permalink, um, change the author, um, you know, the parent and discussion. All of this is suddenly accessible from one really easy to use and see panel. All right, now the second uh, update I wanted to highlight is this sort of shortcut bar here in the top middle of your window now. So if we take a look back at WP 6.5.5, so you guys should update this, this is 5.5. Um, there is no middle panel search bar here, right? And so when you come back to 6.6, .6, We've now suddenly got this new um, shortcut menu. So as you're working, you can either come up and click this shortcut menu, and it brings up a modal that allows you to search commands and settings. Now, I haven't played a whole lot with this, but what it does allow you to do is search other pages on your website. You can do um, open this in a new tab. You could say, um, preview in a new tab, open list view, all archives. You can say page, add new page, go to your sample page, right? This is a, a default install, so that's all the only page, other page I have set up. Um, you know, you can go to all pages. So it's sort of a quick command uh, shortcut bar that I think is kind of neat. It's, again, might take some adjusting to get used to since we're so used to just clicking back, going to where we need to go to navigate. Um, but I could see that really helping streamline uh, your flow in, in how you work and navigate within WordPress. All right, so the next thing that we're going to take a look at is within blocks themselves. So this next update, it actually has to do with inserting a bulleted list. Now here on WP 6.5.5, um, if we say bullet one, bullet two, and then we say, hey, we want this to be a sub bullet. If I enter tab, this will not insert a, a sub bullet. Instead, it's going through, tabbing through the items on the right hand side. And we would have to click the indent button in order to create an indented sub bullet. However, now on WP 6.6, .6, we can say bullet one, say bullet two, and then on the next line, I can hit tab on my keyboard, and there it goes. It's indented and created that sub bullet for us. Now, something really simple, I know, but this is so much easier and streamlined as far as not having to leave your keyboard um, and doing what the intended action is with that tab key. All right, next up on our block list, um, in 6.6, .6, they've introduced a new grid block. Now, this is a little bit fluid, and again, I have not played with this whole bunch as a genera avid generate blocks user. I always utilize generate blocks, blocks in my builds um, and don't really ever use very many native blocks. So. This one being totally new out of, out of the box here in 6.6, .6, um, it's not something I've adapted to 
you know, the way I build. However, if you do utilize um, a lot of WordPress's native blocks, I think this is a really big update incorporating grid. Um, it allows you to do a few different things. So this is the grid option. You can even transform this into stacked um, for a single column, top to bottom, or you can do a row left to right um, and add columns that way. And then within grid, you can actually change the layout from auto. So you say minimum column width and adjust that as, as you wish, or you can switch this to manual and insert however many columns you want. Um, so definitely a really great addition to the WP core blocks here if it's something that you utilize already. All right, now last but not least, the fifth item I wanted to touch on in the new 6.6 .6 update is the ability to add negative margins. Um, something that seems so simple, right, <laughs> is, is now a feature of core blocks. So if we go ahead and insert a paragraph block, I'll insert some text here and we come on over to the right hand panel and under dimensions we hit the plus sign and choose margin we can now edit that top margin and we can say minus 10 pixels um, prior to this in 6.5 we were not able to insert negative margins so um, it's definitely a good improvement um, again something that probably should have been there a long time ago but nonetheless a really great addition to the core blocks themselves. Now, of course, this really only touches the tip of the iceberg in the latest WordPress 6.6 .6 update, um, as they did multiple other things with new accessibility improvements, um, pattern overrides, things for full site editing, uh, and quite a bit more. Happy building, and we'll see you next time.